And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Feel it coming my way. Just about to get started on the hill here today. Michael Baer going to be hard to top his last start, Singy. It was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. And here comes Sander Bogarts. And the pitch. Into center and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Next is the speedy first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. Here comes Bogarts around third. He will score, and it's 1-0. A couple of hits in a row for him here. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And now it's Juan Soto. Fourth on the batting average leaderboard in the National League. And fouled off. Chris Juan Soto is one of the best young hitters we've seen come along in a long time. Of course, helped the Nationals to win the World Series in 2019, and he won the batting title. Hit 351 in that shortened 2020 season. Left hand hitter waits. A little bit low. Well, I mean, his at-bats are so quality. We talk about professional hitter, professional at-bats. He gives those to you all the time. I just love his play coverage. Not afraid to use the opposite field. And when you have a guy that can do that, he's going to hit a whole lot in terms of slog, average, on-base percentage as well. Foul ball, he stays alive. Bows it off, still one and two. Righty delivers. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. McMahon settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Adam Engel. Tops on the team in batting average, Boog. A guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs in at the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on. But it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. Manny Machado in the box now. No balls and a strike. Cronenworth, the runner at second with one away. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering is down low, and a count two and one. And he deals. Here's Machado with a swing. 
That one well hit. Deep left field. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. A big home run for him, certainly. Number 300 for his career. Someone get him that baseball. Well, you have to appreciate what he's been able to do in his career. He's truly established himself as one of the great power hitters in the game today. And this is a milestone he can be really proud of. There are a lot of very good hitters that never get to 300 homers in their careers. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. High fly ball, right field. And puts the squeeze on that. Out number two. That is it. Two outs, base is empty. So digging in now for San Diego, Nelson Cruz. And that's in there for strike one. That one drifts inside. That's in for a strike at 95. And the count, one and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Right side, hard hit. Sends it to first. That's out number three. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3 nothing. Back after this on the show. Back here in Denver. And our pitcher in this game, Seth Lugo. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Charlie Blackman in now. Takes ball one off the plate. The line of the pitch. That's inside. Oh, In the air to left center. Soto gets under it and makes the grab. One away. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. One point of concern hitting in that two-hole, Ezekiel Tovar. Yeah, Boog, hitting under that Mendoza line over the last 10 games. Uh, he's definitely going through a tough time at the plate right now. I think some of that's probably bad luck. Other, it's just, you know, bad approach. But clearly, he's looking to make some adjustments to get back on track. So we'll see what he does in this one. Ezekiel Tovar, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Next pitch inside, and now it's even one and one. That's a laser base hit, and that's going to roll to the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. 
Not stopping, he's going for three. Now a relay to third, in there safely. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Runner at third with one gone. So in now for Colorado, C.J. Crone. Third in the NL in RBIs this year. Line drive, base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and now just a two-run deficit. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Chris Bryant now. First Whoa, offering and it just misses. Well, Chris, baseball fans remember Chris Bryant winning the World Series in 2016, but Cub fans still remember Bryant's throw across the diamond to make it official. He recorded the final out in that rainy game seven. The 1-0. Just oh, off the outside edge. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Good hitters count the 2 0. Way Three high. Ball. Appears okay. they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2 0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but. Ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. The 3 1. That one fouled off. Crone, the runner at second with one away. Struck him out without a swing. Fastball to letters, froze him for strike three. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Brian McMahon steps to the plate. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. In there for strike one. Runner at second, two down. Rip to short. Bogarts with the throw to first. And that ends the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning set to go. Stepping in for San Diego, Adam Engel. Adam Engel. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. At the belt and fires. At the ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And the righty deals. Popped up, middle of the diamond. McMahon under it. Then there's one down. That again. The catcher, Austin, Austin. Nola. And now it's Austin Nola. Of course, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters in baseball. Go, 
pitch misses inside and that is ball one. And there's a strike. Eric Summersgill our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for Boog is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Next pitch misses inside. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch has popped up. Crone puts it away, and there's two down. Ball's just not carrying the first tonight. <laughs> now, you would actually say that to your teammate in the dugout. No, I'm not that cruel, but someone would say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before. Ha Sung Kim, the next to hit, takes outside. Next offering is in for a strike. And that clips the inside corner. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. And the right hander deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And that's too high. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Xander Bogarts, the next to hit. Now move to first, and he dives back in safely. Chris, Xander Bogarts has turned into one of the best hitting shortstops in all of baseball. He's made the all-star team four times, five times a silver slugger, and Bogey's won a couple of World Series, too. Runner Run around the goal. Go to second, out there, and that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here at Coors Field, we head to the bottom of the second. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Lugo, back to work. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. And he grabs it in foul ground. And he'll one. Ball. one -oh. Good eye right there. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Here's a 2 1. 
late that time and it's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. That hits the dirt and the count is filled up. On the ground to the left and foul ball. The line to kick the pitch. On the ground to third. Machado throws the first in time and quickly one away in the second. Randall Gritchick now. Hitless last night, and they only scored one run. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Two. That misses ball. the zone. Now one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Oh, Next two. offering upstairs. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. Batting in. Two outs, base is empty. Alan Trejo digging in for the Rockies. Ball one, no strikes. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. One and one. Pitch is in there. And the count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Rockies are down quietly. Score holds, it's 3-1. Really Welcome back. It's Xander Bogarts now. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone and he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup and That's the first ball. pitch misses for ball one Bogarts ball one, no who wears that number two on his back for his idol Derek Jeter yeah. next offering is in for a strike one way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity they're doing that right here Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Xander Bogart's a little frustrated. Now the number now two hitter, out. Jake Cronenworth. He doubled yeah, home yeah. a run in his first AP. Oh, 
Cronenworth throws right, bats left. 29 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. The 0-1. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 0-2. Blackman settles underneath it. And it's caught for the out. Now bad at it. The left field. One. Juan Soto now. Popped out and foul ground first time through. Soto, a former home run derby champ, hitting third in the lineup. He's knocked in nine over his last ten games. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And that one off the outside edge. Aye. Top of the zone for a strike. One and two. And that one is inside. Out there to center. Gritchick pulls that one down. And that is that. Padres down in order as the lead remains 3-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Elias Diaz. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Ball so two, two balls and no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls, one strike. Righty to the plate. Strike two. Two ball, two strike. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Nick Martinez. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's Chuck Nasty. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Blackman goes six feet, three inches, 220 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2008. Run, run, run. And there he goes. On the ground, right side. Kim with the throw to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. 
the bat. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. Outside. That clips a corner. Swing and a miss. One and two. Down. That's out number two. And here is C.J. Crone. Doubled his first time off. C.J. Crone can hit a ball a long way. In 2022, he had a 504-foot home run that was one foot shy of the longest homer ever tracked by StatCast. Nomar Mazzara hit one 505 feet. Yeah, that home run tied John Carlos Stanton's 504-foot home run at Coors Field when he was with the Marlins in 2016. Next offering upstairs. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Chris Bryant up next. And a four-pitch four, four. one. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. So first and second with two outs. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. In there, and it's 0-1. And that's in there at the knees. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Only two now. Next offering is outside. Diaz, the lead runner out at second. Crone on at first with two down. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Two left on. Three innings complete. It's the Padres three and the Rockies one. New inning getting started. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Manny Machado. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Baird back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And he beats it. He's safe. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, Boo. Now it's the DH, Matt Carpenter. Run around the move. Cut on and miss. Oh, one for count. Throw to second, and he's out. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. The 2 Ball one there. Two strikes. On, 
towards first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Now two out. The center field. Nelson. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Padres, Nelson Cruz grounded out his first time. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. That one's in there on one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And that is in for a strike. That is strike two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Liner, base hit. The right fielder, number five, Adam Engel. Two outs, runner at first. Adam Engel, the next up for the Padres. Nice through there for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Eight, two. No ball, two strikes. And down on strikes. Out number three. Padres leave one, but they still lead it 3-1. Bottom four, here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. The third baseman, Ryan McMahon. And the right hander back to work. And a curve misses outside. Hit hard on the ground is short. And a quick out, number one. Now down. The second base. Roger. Roger. Brendan Rogers digs in now. Grounded out his first time. On the ground, out to short. Throw over to Cronenworth and a couple of quick outs. The bat. The third Randall Gritchick digging in for the Rockies. His first at bat was a strikeout. That's inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Steven Wilson getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Next offering upstairs. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. The pitch. Good plate Whoa. appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Trejo in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. That one misses, and that's ball two. Gritchick off of first with two away. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. That one fouled off, two and two. Right-handed reliever. That's to third. 
Machado throws to first in time. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Nothing across on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four. It's the Padres three, and the Rockies one. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. And here's the catcher, Austin Nola. Nola. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Padres doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Next offering in the dirt. Ball two. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, patience and discipline the paid off right there that's as that's he got into an advantage baby. count. Just kept it simple. Played yeah. Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. He reached out a walk his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. The old one gets the outside corner with that one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Denelson Lamette appears to be getting loose. Gilbreth getting loose as well. Stays alive. Swing and a ball popped up, and it drops in. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. That one probably had no business ending up as a base hit, but he got just enough of it to muscle it to the outfield, and that pitch was well in off the plate. A tough one to handle, but he gets rewarded. Now here's Xander Bogarts now, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. Singing, you know, Xander Bogarts is actually a twin. His twin brother, Jair, signed with the Red Sox initially and played a little bit in the Boston organization. That's pretty cool. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Xander Bogarts hits one out. His 14th of the year. And they boost their lead. It's 6-1. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Here's Bud Black towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Michael Baer departs, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with a new pitcher after this break. Pitcher on here, Jose Urania, on for his 20th appearance of the year. And here is Jake Cronenworth, one for two with an RBI double back in the first. And there's a ball. The pitch. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. 
Jake Cronenworth will touch them all. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-1. Zingy, that's his 50th career homer. 50 might not sound like a huge number, but it's a nice little milestone that a lot of guys don't get to. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Now the youngster Juan Soto. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. They say you win. And one and two. Two strikes. See the velocity ninety seven with that fastball. Two two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two two now. Bows it back with two strikes. The two two. Up the middle. Fires over to Crone. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. And now it's Manny Machado. He's already homered in this game. Manny Machado, his brother-in-law, is former major leaguer Yonder Alonzo. Both those kids grew up in Miami, and of course, Alonzo, a guy who ended up having a nice major league career. Still only one out here in the inning. And Manny gets a piece. And here it comes. In the air, foul off first, and a foul ball. Owen oh, Chu now. One ball, two strikes. Swing. Blind into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. Bounced up the middle. Tobar tosses the first. Then they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is stretched to 7 1. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz. The pitch. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. All these Rockies finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get no back. Two strike. The wind and the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. On the ground right side. Kim with the throw to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Charlie. 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 
Now it's Charlie Blackman. First pitch swinging. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? And a pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together for him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, now, there's now, a now. lot of base Just hits up the middle, middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. One for two in the game. He tripled and scored in the first. In there, and it's 0-1. Blackman, at first, one gone. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at-bat going. Crone in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That one missed. And a pitch to the left side, but it is well foul. Here's a one two. Ball two. Right, right through there, got him. That's the inning. So one left for Colorado. They're down seven to one. Top six. Here's the center fielder, Nelson Cruz. Cruz, multi-time all-star, 42 years old, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Now wanted one. one, ball, one strike. This to third. Whips it across. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now batter, the right fielder, Adam Engel. The batter now is Adam Engel. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Nola. Check swing, no appeal, and it's one to no. Whoa, recognize that pitch just in time, able to keep those hands back.
Right. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a one great one. take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, He's you right. want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, right field. Brings it in. That's out number two. Oh, he throws it away. The batter, the batter seven. Seven. Second, second base, Young Kim. Kim. Man at first, Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Throw to first, and he's hey. back in standing. And a pitch. Up the middle. Over to Rogers. And that is that. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Padres seven and the Rockies one. Back here in Denver. Well, we go bottom six. And the batter now, Chris Bryan. Well, boo, Chris Bryan, a kid who accomplished a lot right away getting to the big leagues. Former number two overall pick, won the Rookie of the Year, was named the MVP in 2016, went in a World Hi. Series with the Cubs, over a 100-year drought. Man, you can't start your career much better than that. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Chris Bryant bops one out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 7-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. That one pushed foul. Foul ball there. Two. In the air on the infield. Martinez makes the grab one away. Now back. The second base. Right now it's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. In there for strike one. Righty delivers. Lifted in the air, out to left. Soto snags it for the second out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Now that front that. shoulder Seven coming open minutes. instead of staying right closed. Ball. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Gritchick stands in now and watches strike one. The wind of the pitch. And that's in the dirt. Mm -hmm. 
Fights that one away. Still one and two. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Chris Bryant with the big time blast. It's now a 7-2 ball game. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Here's Xander Bogarts. The right-hander back to work. Sanker catches the zone at the knees. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. Nope. First pitch oh. doesn't find the zone. Counts one and zero. Good eye right there. Bogarts gets his lead at first with nobody out. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Still two and two after the foul ball. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Here's Juan Soto. Runner on the go. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Gosh, that's just a terrible jump right there off first base. It really cost him. And it wasn't even a great throw, but it still allowed him to slap the tag on him just in time. Boogie looked like it was you running or something. When you get off the blocks that poorly, you've got to be willing to shut it down and get back to first. And it's fouled away. In there. And so now one and two. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I and mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. The one, two. That's the third. McMahon fires over to first. That ends the frame. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seven-minute stretch. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Stephen Wilson. 32nd appearance. Stephen Wilson. Now it's going to be Alan Trejo. 
The pitch. Bounce to the left side. Now the throw to first on the run. But he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. And now it's Elias Diaz. First pitch oh, just great. misses. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Two zero. -oh. That catches the corner. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Nabil Krizmat preparing to come on if needed. Nobody out. Runner at first. Hit on the ground, might be two. Goes to second for one. Relay to first, double play. The right field, number 19. Charlie well, here's Charlie Blackman. Blackman. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. And he deals. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. His ninth homer of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 7 3. home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. righty deals and that's in there at the knees for a strike quickly into an 0-2 count both pitches were down in the zone I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area right, gonna count one, one and two two strikes Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. The two two on the way. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Chuck Nasty goes yard for the Rockies. It's now seven three. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Lucas Gilbert. Well, he's had trouble at times keeping the ball in the park this season. Something to keep in mind here. Here's Manny Machado now, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. 
but why the kick the pitch? Ball that one. misses. Ball one. Count one and zero. Oh. Not the best swing that time oh, no, from the first right. round pick. Pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. Swing and a ball lifted left field, and there's one down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. And now the DH, Matt Carpenter. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Denelson Lamette getting ready to come on for Bud Black. The 0 1. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Here's the 0 2. And ball one. Ball. one. Two and now two and two. That one off the mark. And now three and two. And he goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Cruz stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. That misses. And it's a ball and a strike. 1 0. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. One ball, two strikes. The 1 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. And now it's even up. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Three. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Three up, three down for San Diego, but they still lead it 7-3. Back here at Coors Field, ready for the bottom of the eighth. So in now for Colorado, C.J. Crone. And the right hander back to work. Fastball in the corner at the knees, and it's a strike. And now the count is even. And that's in for a strike. The one two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and deals. And it's even up. Hammer, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. Down the middle for a strike. That's strike one. Just missed. Crone aboard here at first with nobody out. Next pitch is outside. And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. And now the count filled up three and two. Down the line towards the corner. Angle makes the grab one down. The third baseman, number 24, Ryan. So up next, Ryan McMahon. On the ground a second, might be two. On to Bogarts. Over to first, C. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And at first, here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Bounce to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. New pitcher now, Robert Suarez. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. So two on with two away. Randall Gritchick digging in for the Rockies. Oh. And the pitch a little bit low, ball, ball one. No one. Kicks and fires. Hey. There's a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Nabil Krizmat getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. First and second, two down. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two and one now. Swing and a miss. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. And now two and two. Good eye in that spot. Running that good fastball up on the hitter's inside. If nothing else, it keeps him from diving out over the plate to get those arms extended on the pitch away. 3-2 now. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. And that one in the air center field. 
And that is that. Two left for Colorado. They're down four. It's seven to three. New pitcher on now, Janelson Lamech. 25th appearance of the year for him. And here is Adam Engel. The right number five, Adam Engel. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the pitcher He's covering, out. and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The catcher, Austin Nola. Here's the catcher, Austin Nola. <laughs> Softly hit to third. Bare hand grab over to first. He's in there. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout's a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. One gone runner at first. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. That one's in there on one. Lamette, a 6'3 righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a two-seamer. At the belt and fires. This one popped up. Rogers settles under this one. He's got it, and there's two away. The bat, number two. Short cross, Xander Bogart. Now Xander Bogart gets a chance to hit. Certainly a factor in this one thanks to his three-run blast back in the fifth. Well, definitely one of the most impactful swings of the game. A big reason why they're working with the lead and looking to add to it right here, Booth. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All ones account. Rip to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Eight nine one due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Padres seven and the Rockies three. Bottom nine, here's Colorado's DH, Alan Trejo. The pitch. And that's down it away. Bullpen action for the Padres. Nabil Krizmat getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. The 1 0. Yeah. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Nope. That one a That's little bad. bit high, and it's 2 and 1. Fly ball down the line. Angle has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. The catcher, number 35. Oh, yeah, yeah. Elias Diaz yeah. will hit next. Yeah. 
Four. First offering, and it just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hit hard, base hit. He was all over that one. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Next to hit for the Rockies, Charlie Blackman. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, and that's the ball game. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. Seven, three is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Afternoon ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Rockies, three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 11 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind.